Welcome to WITN Social Cam, and we're here today in the middle of Hispanic Heritage Month with Eusenia Terradas, host of La Conexion, our first bilingual talk show. So Eusenia, what does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? Well, it's definitely a month designated for all the Latinos here in the United States of America. Currently, there's 54.1 million Latinos, so it definitely just gives us an acknowledgement of the contributions that we've made to the United States of America. It's between September 15th to October 15th, and generally why it started on September 15th mm -hmm. is because that's the uh, independence uh, anniversary date for a lot of uh, Latino countries. Oh, awesome. I never knew what that I never knew. <laughs> so uh, during this time of year, what kind of traditions go on in Wilmington or in Delaware that we can look forward to? So for me, it's a, it's a chance to celebrate our culture, our history, our contributions. And in Wilmington, uh, we have the Hispanic Festival and Hispanic Parade, and then also the Latin American Community Center. They have their annually uh, Hispanic Heritage Month uh, proclamation dedication ceremony. And this year was pretty uh, unique. They gave a street, part of the street that is in front of the Latin American Community Center, they designated that the Maria Matos Way. Oh, because she's been the executive nice. director there for 20 years plus, and uh, they thought it was definitely the time to acknowledge her. And so she was acknowledged during the Hispanic Heritage Month. Awesome, the Latino community is really up and coming. I mean, it's, it's really growing across the country and in Wilmington. So how has this inspired you? And what, would, what advice would you give other young Latinos that are looking to really plant their feet in uh, communications or in the arts? Well, we're definitely a growing uh, minority group. And uh, for a while, we were underserved here in the city of Wilmington. Um, what I like here about this state is that you do have the opportunity to help those of, of your kind. And so here at WITN 22, uh, we've, we've hit that niche market uh, with the programs that I produce, uh, La Conexion, uh, The Connection. Uh, we have that opportunity to give our services that's offered here in Delaware to the Latino community. And uh, what I have the advice for those uh, Latinos and Latinas is just basically to really find something that you love to do and work really hard and just practice on your craft and, and mm -hmm. set a goal. I've always set goals for myself. I've worked hard all my life yes. to um, accomplishing those goals and mm -hmm. uh, that's where a lot of my uh, outcomes come from, just staying focused. And with that being said, this month, Yusinia received the Mayor's Award for her accomplishments and contributions for the community. Let's take a look at that. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for having me. I have a lot of friends being honored here tonight. And it gives me great pleasure to be speaking with their families and friends on such a well-deserved occasion. As I look around the room, I see uh, some of the honorees who are dear friends of mine. Jesse Tavares, who was literally, I just told the mayor, she was literally the first Urban League kid in Wilmington. So I met her when she was 15, and I couldn't be more proud of you here today. Our final Wilmington Award recipient in the arts category is Yesenia Tavares. As you heard earlier, at the tender age of 15, Ms. Tavares began her journalism career through a partnership between the Metropolitan Wilmington, Wilmington Urban League and Community, Corporation, Community Communications Corporation, where she hosted a youth television show, We the Students. By age 19, she was working for ESPN as a freelancer. She earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Broadcast Journalism from Morgan State University and has worked for Black Enterprise Magazine, Career Communications Group, WPVI-TV Channel 6 ABC, and Def Jam Records. Yesenia is currently employed with WITN 22, the City of Wilmington's government channel, and currently hosts the station's first and only award-winning bilingual television talk show, La Conexion. Yesenia is the recipient of Delaware Press Association's Award for Delaware Best Special TV Program, as well as the National Federation of Press for Women's Award for Second Best Programming, Second Best Special Programming and Television in the United States of America. Join me in congratulating Yesenia Tavares for stellar achievement in the area of the arts.
Thank you for watching WIT and Social Cam, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.